Hello, hi, I'm Jeffrey. This is my partner, Tucker. And uh, we're gonna shoot a walkthrough video of our 2020 Mercedes Sprinter van that we're selling. Uh, this is a four x four Mercedes 2500 cargo van. It's the one, 144 inch wheelbase. And uh, we've built this out. This has been a personal camper of ours. Uh, we've been building camper vans. Well, I got the first one 10 years ago. Uh, we've been doing this full-time professionally, building for customers in, for the last four years. And this is my personal van. It's got 16,500 miles on it. It's been used for like weekends away and so forth. But um, the uh, I just these are my personal drivers now. I won't own anything but a Sprinter. I just love them. Um, this was, you know just used for the last this the van was delivered august of 2020 so um like i said it's a 2020 model uh, but it was only it, the warranty starts once they when it's delivered so the the warranty still has two years the three-year 36 still has two years on it with tw still has another 20,000 miles to enjoy with uh worry free you know anything happens to these you just take them to the dealership and say hey your van's broken fix it um, it's great. They're so great about it. Um, and let's just talk about some of the stuff. There's an overhead shelf over the driver's seat that's so dark you can't quite see. I'm mentioning it. You know, overhead shelves all the way through the back. Lots of storage. There's also storage under the bed. Two big compartments on each side. Uh, two sets of compartments. And um, this bed is the way it's made is there's a on this wheel well has a whole bunch of all the the batteries and uh, inverter and everything the charge controller. So that's two uh, 200 amp hours of lithium of Renogy uh, Renogy lithium smart batteries. You can see right there. You know we've got a, a Bluetooth monitor on them to watch them, but there's the solar controller, and that controller uh, has a Bluetooth thing that it, it you know talks to the app on the phone can monitor the batteries they're charged with 300 watts of solar on the roof and there's a 3000 watt inverter in here could clean those wires up sorry that 3000 watt inverter will power anything through the outlets uh, there's one in the rear and there's also an outlet here and this has USB chargers on it as well. So that 3000 watt inverters for plugging in your household stuff like a coffee maker or, or a blender or whatever. Yeah. It's also how we power the induction cooktop. So it's, um, I have a brand new one coming that it's not in here. So we got a induction. We, we cook with induction with electric induction. If you haven't heard of induction, it's just the most wonderful, efficient, wonderful way to cook with, uh, you just need the right pans and it's like a magnetic thing that happens, uh, where the, the heat's created in the pan through magnetics. And it's not like a hot plate. Like these induction cooktops are just great. I personally don't like to build them in because they will fail. They don't last forever. They're kind of, uh, you know, they have a, they're a, the problem with if they break is that if, you, if we cut a big hole, if we cut a big hole in the countertop, I have to then replace it with the exact same model or the hole won't be necessarily be the same. We've ran into this before where an induction took cooktop that was cut into the countertop when it failed, like I couldn't find that model again and the holes weren't quite right. Uh, for anyways to it, it's also taking up a lot of real estate on the countertop. So I prefer to have them stow away. I use the countertop ones and it's just, so there's a two burner one included, uh, with this as well as everything you see here is included. Well, that's my futon. If you, you know, we could negotiate about my futon. I don't know if you necessarily want it. I have it set up, uh, uh but everything else, you know, all these things, uh, um, are what make the van great, you know, work great. And all, most of this is all custom stuff. Obviously, we got a few things from the store. Um, we've got soft closing drawers. There's two drawers, and then there's these two big cupboards for everything. Um, under the other wheel well just is the water pump and 20 gallons of water. Uh, that's just fresh water. There's also, I'm, I'm putting it in this weekend. There'll be a, a, a shower sprayer off the rear doors that isn't installed yet, but I have it already and just need to spend the time to do it, which we'll do on Saturday or Sunday. Um, so it's uh, fresh running, beautiful, big, huge stainless steel sink. This water is, it's just room temperature water. We don't have a hot water heater on here. 
We do have this magnificently gigantic fridge. It's the full size 130 liter model. And you know, we did the laminates all to match. So all of the, everything we do in here is like, uh, uh, we make everything from scratch, from durable materials that'll last. And so, um, you know, right down to the drawers and, and even laminating everything so it matches. And so these are, uh, you know, Wilson art laminates, but they're on solid maple. So all the cabinetry in here is all cabinet grade maple. We made all the doors from all, whatever you see. Uh, uh, all of the, even this painted, even, even the stuff that's painted, this was all cabinet grade maple all trimmed with aluminum to be durable and last for years and years everything in here from all the materials that we choose is based on how will, will this van stand up to what we do see the outside world is right out the door <laughs> right outside that door it comes in with a vengeance and so you know we have to think about everything can, has to be able to get wet uh, it has to be able to be wiped down easy. It has to be able to withstand getting bumped and knocked by things. And so we've got a vinyl, a bulletproof. I wish I had the sample. Uh, we got a big sample of this and I immediately started torture testing it with like a, a sharp chisel. I'm like, ur, ur, ur. you can't do anything to this flooring. Um, and it's totally waterproof and just wipes down just like everything else. And so these laminates will just wipe down clean. Um, this is a butcher block countertop. Every single last thing I think of what how's this going to withstand because we're not like we're not delicate on these things we're on adventures right this is like an adventure machine and uh there's this guy me and him have done uh 350 000 miles in sprinter vans so in 2011 we took off for the we got a first one a year earlier and took forever to build it you know uh you know how it goes uh, building things from scratch takes time and we finally took off in 2011 for big trips and uh, boy the cabinets we had gotten for they were kitchen cabinets made of like you know particle boardy kind of stuff for your home uh, and man those things what a disappointment they just don't stand up they uh, was a broken laminate door a broken door uh, in the hinge broke also and there was a bunch of problems with the cabin every time we d bumped into it it seemed like it something would i don't know leave a mark or whatever and uh man it was such a disappointment we spent a bunch of time and money uh on that stuff and you know when it came to the second one we tried to get better quality stuff but still home stuff from the home you know ikea cabinets and they just don't stand up the drawers things will break uh they can't be just fixed like everything in here was made from uh uh in a way that you know we can update or fix anything that does happen to happen but in the meantime it's all been you know we trim out everything and and, and try to make sure all the materials are going to stand up and you know, the other thing we've learned from traveling in these, I mean, a lot of our traveling, it wasn't uh, just up and down this valley, right, Tucker? We've been on big road trips, weekends away, um, uh, you know, three or four weeks at a time. And twice on two different occasions over the last 10 years, we've been like three and almost four months the second time, almost four months uh, full time. Right. And so, you know, if uh, when that's happening, when you're on longer trips, you're going to hit bad weather and you know, one of the things uh, we had done in those first couple that we learned, don't overbuild them in here. So you don't want to have cabinetry just building in from both walls, closing it in. So you, you just get a hallway down the middle. Um, you know, they have to be comfortable to hang out in. You know, the doors aren't always going to be open uh, with the sun coming in, you know, and a beautiful sunset like you see on Instagram. Sometimes you're shutting here uh, for hours and just sitting here reading or on the la whatever you're doing. Um it, it's easy to overbuild them and then feel claustrophobic. And so we, the, these cabinets were actually, with that in mind, you know, the overheads, we've done it before where the doors open and close, but it, then it just shuts off the, the space. And so doing this way, we can even light up inside and it really makes it feel, you know, spacious and comfortable. The other thing is too, you can see everything and you're not always clamoring and slamming doors. Like, where's this thing I'm looking for? It's like, oh, here's my cool mug. You know, there it is. Or these are what we have for groceries. You don't have to, you can just look and it's convenient that way to leave the, I like the open vibe of it, you know? And, um, 
What are some of the components? Oh yeah, this guy, this bench is so great. We sit on this bench all the time, just jumping in to like sit down, put shoes on or take, I don't know, look at something. But also hiding in this bench is a um, Thetford cassette toilet. So this one's brand new included. Um, the, um, you know, these little guys they just have a there's just two chambers they're a very simple setup two chambers in the lower chamber goes the blue chemical that turns uh like everything that lick solids into liquids kind of thing so we also have like i mentioned the 200 uh the batteries the do we talk about everything big beautiful sink and <laughs> that's what my mind is looking for. What did we not mention? The big obvious thing, the bed. So I'm going to set this up. I have it set up. This was built. Basically, these cabinets are over each wheel well. They have one has the batteries. Um, one has the water tanks. So we would build a cabinet around them anyways to enclose them. And it's like, oh, OK, like, let's make the bed integrated with that. So it doesn't have to be a bed all the time the way this was built, because these little dividers will go between the bed. Uh, between the two boxes and make a platform that then the futon can roll out. So we'll do that. I'll put the camera down in a minute and show that. You know, plus we got these cubbies. This is a queen size bed, and so it only a queen comes 60 inches, and this was actually like 72 across. So we got this little 12, maybe it's 10 inches wide. This thing, um, uh, little cubbies for extra storage or whatnot. Um, and we've got venting windows over the the bunks. We can open these. Uh, they awning out we can open these even in the rain and so the bed's a nice uh comfortable setup i'm gonna just like maybe i'll do it right here but yeah like in one minute you can switch this out from it only takes a minute to do this right i'm just putting these four panels which can go anywhere. You can just take them out and put them in your garage or do it however you want. But if you're not always using the van for like sleepover stuff and you want to have more space to like, or, or even just go to Lowe's and, and, and pick up some lumber, uh, these panels come out real easy. Now it's not just a fixed bed. It's always a bed and always in the way if it's needed to be used for something else. And then you just boom, boom, boom. Now we're set up, got the futon rolled out, and now we've got a queen size bed that sleeps this way. We've got a ceiling fan in the ceiling uh, to keep things cool in the winter. Uh, in the summer, this thing's fully insulated uh, in the walls, floors, and ceiling. Um, with a, it's just like thin slate. It's, it's called Climate Shield, just a different brand. So in the seat base here, we're going to be putting a Wabasto heater this weekend. So it's finished up. I hadn't used. I've only been using it um, since the winter, so I never needed the. Um, <laughs> I was more just driving it around, working on customer vans, uh, and then when we finally did get this thing all dialed in, I've only been using it during nice weather. So we're gonna put a heater, a Wabasto diesel heater, in here. So it's truly a four-season camper. And uh, Tucker, you've been so patient. What a champ. We're gonna go out and uh, chase the rest of the daylight here and take Tucker for a walk. And this van's, of, I'm so grateful you take the time to watch this. This van's available, and if you had questions about it, I, um, I'd look forward to hearing from you. So pl please don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, thank you so much. Have fun.